Hello, thought I'd do a quick review on this uh, Behringer Euphoria UMC-22. I know a lot of people on YouTube have done uh, a lot of reviews on this product, but uh, I couldn't find any information on actual specifications like frequency response, signal to noise ratio, THD, and uh, I wanted to use this in uh, for some measurement uh, capabilities so I wanted to know those things and so I'm going to do some quick measurements with my uh, Audio Precision P1 Plus and also just look inside the guts a little bit and uh, I've already opened it up and so I kind of have goofed this uh, faceplate here a little bit. Uh, the first thing that I thought I would try to do is say well I wanted to use this for it's uh, just a microphone preamp uh, with phantom power so that I could use this Behringer ECM 8000 measurement microphone or some other measurement microphones I have. So I wanted to know the frequency response. So the first thing I wanted to do is just power this with a USB uh, wall wart and not have to hook it into a computer and uh, that uh, does not work. So I'm going to plug this into USB charger, plug it in, and uh, no power. And I've looked at this with my lab bench supply and uh, it's drawing a little bit, a little bit of power but uh, there's some smarts here that must uh, have to uh, communicate with your computer to get full power. So I'm going to plug this into my computer. So here we go. Now we have power. I'm going to supply, uh, rather than using a microphone, I'm going to connect the output of uh, the audio precision to the microphone. I have the audio precision set up for 100 millivolts output and I also have it set up for balanced output here with a 600 ohm impedance. I'm going to go unbalanced in and I have a 10k ohm resistor uh, patched in to the output here so we can uh, have a more uh, consistent results. So I have this set up into the direct monitoring mode so it's not going through the ADC to the computer and back. It should be shooting straight through input to output but using the gain stage and then also putting out the phantom power. Okay, uh, I'll have to zoom in a little bit but I have this set for 100 millivolts. Adjust this potentiometer here so I get about 100 millivolts output. So there we have it. Um, okay, so I have this uh, zoomed in on the uh, audio analyzer here. Uh, I'm currently putting out one kilohertz, 100 millivolts output. I'm reading 100 millivolts on the input. First thing we're going to check is we want to see what the input impedance of the microphone is. Okay, it's 2920 ohms, so roughly 3 kilo ohms. That's about right. I'm going to now run a frequency plot. Oops, let me come back over here, zero it, now we'll do a sweep, and this will take just a second. Uh, so I've done this before, and uh, it is ruler flat, 10 hertz to 20 kilohertz and uh, it's about 3 dB down point 
is 30 kilohertz and you'll just see here that this uh, looks really good so there shouldn't be any problems using a measurement mic and trying to make low frequency measurements uh, I took a look at the uh, input of this unit I'll um, show some pictures of that in a little bit and just kind of look to see what chips were being used on the inside. The input here is a capacitively coupled um, and the output is also capacitively coupled. It's using uh, 47 microfarad electrolytic capacitors on the input coupling into a differential amplifier. does not use a transformer, but I haven't seen a transformer in a uh, microphone preamp forever. Okay, so there we go. So you can see here that it's uh, flat and I can come up to about uh, 30 kilohertz. Here's our negative 3 dB down point. So it looks pretty good. And this is driving into uh, 10 kilo ohm load. If I go into uh, signal to noise ratio, now again this is uh, basically unity 100 millivolts in 100 millivolts out I'm reading about 60 dB which is quite good now we can get this number a whole lot higher by just increasing the gain and increasing the input signal but uh, I try to do most of my comparative uh, signal to noise ratio measurements with a unity gain so that's looking good. The uh, THD on here uh, measures very good. You can see right now I'm measuring about 0.04% distortion with these settings. Very good. Okay, to tear this thing apart, uh, you would, you'll end up kind of goofing up your label a little bit. There's a screw here, screw here, screw here, and it slides right out. You don't have to worry about taking any screws out the back. So inside of this, we have a two JRC2122 op amps right here and right here. Uh, there are two 808694 uh, quad op amps sitting here and here. This is a Cool Audio V2902. This is the codec. You can see this is the uh, XLR input uh, uh, coupling for the, well, the, the capacitive uh, coupling and then what's needed for the phantom power injection. Uh, down here is a LM339, which is the quad comparator, if that's what's going to be driving the signal and clip LEDs. Up here is a linear regulator, another linear regulator, and then here's a uh, switching DC to DC that's taking the uh, 5 volt rail from the uh, USB, switching it up to the 48 volts. This looks like a decent design in that uh, the this actually here this is the DC to DC controller uh, that can generate some noise back onto the DC line and they've got a uh, another inductor here to quite help quiet that down. The uh, voltage ratings on all the capacitors look appropriate. For example, the this big guy right here is a the main filter cap for the phantom power it's rated at 63 volts and uh, this system is generated about uh, 46 volts and so that's a good margin these all of these other capacitors uh, looked uh, pretty darn good as far as their voltage ratings um, I don't see uh, many problems with this design there's some nice little spring springs here attached to the back of the uh, chassis and uh, they've got a nice bare copper trace well the 
the ground plane is exposed on the top and the bottom so it can come in contact with the guide rails of the metal housing. Uh, it looks pretty good in the inside. Well, there we have it. It's back together. Uh, I kind of botched up this face, <laughs> this uh, back screened uh, uh, plastic for the labeling. Uh, I might put a piece of uh, thin uh, backerless tape in there and then clamp it down to get that to hold back. But uh, it's functional and uh, it uh, should work pretty well for measurement mic uh, capabilities. Uh, if anybody's interested, maybe I'll do some frequency response and distortion measurements uh, through the digital chain. But uh, looks good. Only thing I was disappointed disappointed with was uh, not being able to use the direct uh, path with it just powered from a, a USB uh, charger. That's it. Thanks.